Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hello, budget kings and queens. Good morning. Happy TGIF. The best day of the week is Friday. All right, especially the work week. Let me know how you are doing this morning. If you have to work, but me for sure, I definitely will be going. But the reason why I'm in such in a good mood, today is my last day. Do you hear me? Today is my last day before I take my vacation. I will be taking spring break the same days that my kids will be home. I did put the request in about a month ago. And so today I will be working a half day and then I'll have the rest of the day and the next week to be with my kids to also take spring break along with them. So in the comments below, number one, you're going to let me know how is your day. Number two, you're going to let me know if you have kids, okay, are they currently in spring break now or have already taken it or going to take it this upcoming week? Let me know that in the comments below, okay? That is why I am such in a good mood, okay? But today we're gonna be focusing on uh, tracking my expenses, okay? Going over what I spent, um, where did my money go? And when I mean my money, my variable expenses and a little bit check-in of, of my fixed expenses. So we're going to go over that. As you know, on my channel, I am a zero-based budgeter. I am a cash stuffer. I do saving challenges. I tackle debt. You name it, I do it if it has to do with finances. If this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you have happened to come on my channel, if you like what you see after watching it today, please hit the like, share, subscribe, and join the royal family. If you are a true one, you know the deal. I L-O-V-E each and every one of you that clicks on the button and return back to my channel and share with me your valuable time. All right? So you know when budgeting, besides budgeting and mapping out, your money, right? Where you want it to be spent and where you want it to go. When you track your expenses, you actually see where it actually went, right? What money moves did you actually do, okay? Compared to what you planned and what it really was. So that is what we're going to do today. A lot of people don't like to do it because it is not fun. It does take a lot. I have to tell you the night before when I came from work, I had to go through all my bank statements on my credit card statements, if I use credit cards, which is rare, um, but mostly my debit card, uh, pulling all the receipts I had in my purse, if I had my daughter doing any errands for me, picking up all the receipts from her, going over them, making sure I have the dates, and then having them ready to do this okay, expense tracker. So it does take a lot of work, but guess what? When you put work and effort into something you want to do and you really want to do it, guess what? Your purpose will push you to do it. My purpose is to reach financial freedom for me and my family, what? Of five, right? I want us to live comfortably. I want to make sure we have a legacy and I want to make sure I leave money for them for their tomorrow, right? Or at least show them how to budget and how to save money on their own when they become an adult and as their kids now so they can already get in the routine of doing it. Okay. Now I love my mom now, but I would have loved if she would have added a little bit of that. Now she did teach us about money, but not in the uh, full extent that I'm doing it now. The full, I want to say like, I'm really into it. Like I really don't play when it comes to my money. Right. So, um, I like that and I want to share that with my kids and I do share it with my kids. So again, one of the things you have to do besides budgeting, okay, and paying yourself first and investing in yourself and tackling debt, if you have any, is tracking your expenses. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. But before I get into it, I am going to open some happy mail that I received from, okay, and you can see it on my desk from Ellie on Earth, okay? And I know you noticed just from the sticker that it kind of gives you a clue if you're in the budgeting cash stuffing community, right? You kind of know her, her symbol and what she's all about. So I'm not gonna turn it in the front because I'm not sure if she wants me to share her P.O. box um, or any of her mailing or personal info, okay? And again, I like to cut it crazy Okay, because I'm trying to open it before my kids beat me down here and start coming and trying to do like their own little shout out. You know what I mean? 
like they always do. And you know what I mean. If you're a content creator and you got kids, you know how it is. While you're recording, they want to talk, ask questions, a whisper in your ear, all of that, right? All of the above. So this is what I got from Ellie on Earth. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. And it says, friends help make saving money fun, all right? And as you can see, it says, thanks uh, thanks so much for joining my group play on YouTube starting um, the 1st of the of March, a scratch off each circle. So we'll be scratching off each circle to play in her group play. And I guess by the time we complete it, it will be t between 25 to 50. Okay. So I'm excited to get that started. And she included two of the details. I put it here. She also included some stickers. It says, enjoy every moment. That is so correct. Why? Because life is precious. Uh, one day you're here and one day you're not. So cherish every moment with the ones you love. I kind of love this one a lot, very much so. Okay. Cute sticker. Thank you for sending that, Ellie. And also she has here a mystery scratch off. So there's two of them. So every day I will be doing a short to scratch off and save along in the group play. And I will um, I will definitely tag Ellie on earth. Okay. So can't wait to get started. I know she's already started this on her channel, but um, now that I've gotten it myself, I'm going to go ahead and begin to do it and provide you guys with shorts to show you what numbers I got and how much I am saving with the group. And Ellie, I will definitely comment once I do the first one on um, your group play next most recent video. Okay. So this is what I got. My happy mail again is from Ellie on earth. And yes, I will definitely be joining the group play. Now let's get into what you guys came to view and let's get it started. A little bit of what I did was I did fully write in all my expenses, um, on my expense tracker just to save us some time. I didn't want the video to be too long, but we are going to go over my fixed expenses. And I just want to share with you what was the actual amounts compared to what I budgeted and what it actually became. On this sheet here is my monthly overview. And again, this tracker here has been created by Beautifully Me and You. Um, and she has this in her extended uh, budget planner sheets and her actual digital and her planner book. My husband did purchase me both of them for Christmas. Um, I was using the digital ones where I print them out and put them in my planner binder. And the physical actual planner came in. So I decorated in March. This is how it looks. So we're going to go over and just uh, update you on what the actual amounts were for my fixed expenses. Okay. So let's take a look for my mortgage. I never share that with you guys because my husband and I, we do keep that private. That's one thing we uh, definitely agree on, but just know that it has been paid. So I'm just going to put a check. The next one is our car insurance. Our car insurance ended up being um, $297. Okay. Instead of that amount. Okay. So that was just, let's see, eight, nine, that was a $9, a uh, $2 difference. Okay. I budgeted two ninety nine. It ended up being two ninety seven, and that's for uh, full coverage on two vehicles. All right. For the electric, um, I budgeted that it would be one fifty. It ended up being one seventy nine dollars and thirty seven cents so i'm just gonna leave it at that okay so 179 okay so it was a big difference so just to double check 179 minusing the 150 it was a 29 dollar um, increase than what i budgeted for the next thing is um, netflix netflix ended up being 26 dollars guys and two cents. They have increased their membership. I do have the one that you can watch it on multiple devices. And um, of course, no commercial. And my kids use that like there is no tomorrow. And so we have it on every TV, every Apple device, um, cell phones, everything, you name it, we got it. So um, I am in the biggest package that they have. It is for $26 and two cents. Okay. And that's a dollar more than what I had budgeted for. The trash and water has been paid. And that was the actual amount for Canva. It ended up being, um, if I'm not mistaken, close to this amount. So we'll go with that. It was $12.99. Okay. But when you round it up, it equaled 13. And so the next one was for my Amazon Prime. And Amazon Prime ended up being 7 
$7.05, okay? So a dollar less. All right, so that is basically all the fixed expenses that actually came out from paycheck number one. All right, just to update you guys on here, um, I did plan to do four to six um, March Madnesses videos um, to savings. Those are the only type of saving challenges I am doing in the month of March. Now I've only done three so far and I will try to do another three before the month ends. And I had a goal to reach 2k in subscribers. I currently have 1,640 and I said I wanted to post four to six shorts on my channel. So far, um, currently as of today, I have only posted two shorts and for videos, oh my gosh, I'm doing real well on that. I try to do, um, three to four videos per week, um, especially because I am doing the March Madness. So I have to push those videos in, in between my regular content and videos that I normally do. So I am pushing out more videos, um, than my normal three per week or two per week. I am doing more than that. So I'm doing good on that. And um, yeah, paying my debt. We have no choice, right? We got to do what we got to do. Put our big girl panties on and take care of that debt that we have to, right? And I'm doing good with my workout. Uh, I'm still drinking a little soda, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, but I am drinking water and that's it. So water and then in between, I've had like soda one time uh, within um, from the 1st to the 20th. Cause I went to a little event with my daughter over the weekend. And so I had soda there, but other than that, it's just H2O. And I'm planning to work out um, for this month, three to five days a week. Um, but I've been doing sticking more to two to two to three days a week. Okay. And the sugar intake, I'm drop, dropping that down less and less. Okay. Sleeping, I'm doing okay, but not no eight hours. A girl can dream, but I'm sleeping less than that. And I'm keeping track on watching what I eat, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now, let's go to the expense tracker, and it will be a wrap for the video, all right? To let you know what money moves and where did I actually spend on my variable expenses, right? Those cash wallets that I stuffed. And guys, I just want to let you know, even though I cash stuff um, certain categories for my everyday wallet, depending on the store, if it only takes what, credit card or debit, then I have no option but to use that. Or there's certain stores you may go in there, you were planning to use your card and it says, all right, the system is down. We can only take tech cash or vice versa. So it all depends on where I'm purchasing in the day of the week or what's going on. But either way, if I use cash, then I automatically deduct that out of my cash envelope for the specific categories. If I go to the store and I'm actually using my debit or credit card, I then go back when I am doing my expense tracker, I go back into those specific cash envelope categories and I pull the money out and then I let you guys know what's the difference of what's left over after I take those digital um, amounts that I put on my card from my actual envelopes, okay, to cover or put back, okay? So just the FYI. And always not everything that you budget for, you stick to, right? Because life be life and keep that in mind, okay? So I did go over in certain categories, but we'll see that because again, we got to be truthful. That's why I'm on YouTube. So you guys can keep me accountable and so you can really see where my money has gone. Not only I want to see it, but I also want to show you where it's been going, okay? So again, this track expenser um, excuse me, expense tracker that I'm doing. It will be from March 1st to the 20th. I typically do it from the 1st to the 15th. Um, but because uh, I had so much um, March uh, Madness uh, mini videos that I'm doing, I had to switch up some of the dates of some of the content that I normally post for you guys. Okay. Um, and so that is why it is up to the 20th. Okay. But typically it is, um, the first 15 days and then the last 15 days. Okay. Cause I do track my expenses every week, but give it to you guys bi-weekly. Okay. Because I get paid every two weeks and then I show you what I have done. So let's jump into it. Um, as you can see, again, it's from March 1st to the 20th this time around. Okay. For paycheck one, we're going to go over the expenses for week one and two. All right. So let's begin. All right. For March 1st, I spent 
at Dollar General, okay, buying toiletries and just things we need around the house, trash bags, cleaning products, detergent, um, paper towel, toilet paper, that kind of thing. And I spent $23.90, okay, so that was in my shopping slash miscellaneous uh, category. On March 8, okay, I spent at five below because my pumpkin, my seven-year-old, the one that always have her little hands in my video, she needed some new headphones for her class, okay, and a couple of other things as well. And so I took her to the store and she bought some stuff at five below. So everything totaled up to 1883 And that was in the kids category because I do have an envelope for them whenever I spend anything regarding them. Okay, the next expense I have is on March 8th, we went to AMC. Um, we ended up seeing the movie Imaginary. If you remember in one of my videos, I did mention they were waiting on me <laughs> to actually go see that movie. It was all right, all right, all right. But if you guys have already seen it, put in the comments below, what did you think? And if you didn't see that movie, but you've been to the movies recently in the month of March, let me know what movie did you see, all right? Keep me posted on that. On March 8th, after the movie theater, we ended up picking up uh, Pollo Tropical because we did go to the movie as a family. And then they said they wanted to eat afterwards and not in the theater. So we picked up a family meal and head home and ate from home. And my mom also came over for that weekend. So we had a good time. Okay. So she also went to the movies with us and we ate at home um, with my mom and the family. Now on March 11th, we went to Walmart and I purchased my groceries. I spent $103.87 in my grocery category. On March 18th, I spent at McDonald's because my pumpkin took me to work because my husband was working on my car. And um, yeah, so we picked up something. She actually picked up something and I just got a small coffee. Okay. And on 318 Shell's gas station. Um, I spent $60 um, on my gas, right? Because my daughter, she actually took me to work in her car, right? And then when she came to pick me up later that end of my shift, she um, had my car because my husband had already fixed it. And I put $60 of gas in there, okay, from the gas category. On March 18, I went to the Shell gas station. Um, same time I went to put the gas, I did purchase some, uh, some stuff to eat because my kids were in the car and they all got some snacks. And that totaled up to uh, $8.57. And that was in my eating envelope. On March 20th, uh, Friday, um, my daughter teacher did tell us, it before previously in that same week that they had an upcoming field trip girl out of nowhere this is what i'm talking about that unexpected expense but thank god i had a kid's envelope and i budgeted 60 dollars for anything that may come up all right and so the field trip was 36 dollars um so i minused it from the kid's envelope so little nene was lucky i had that little envelope now she would have been out of luck Okay, but typically if I don't have money for something that's unexpected, I always tell them to let their dad know and let their dad take care of that. Okay, I can only do what um, I have available in my budget. So if I'm over in other categories and I may not have squeezing room to pull money from other areas, then I would tell her to check with her dad. But typically I always leave a little money on the side just in case they may need something or something comes up from school. All right, for my three kids. The next thing is on March 20th, it was Wawa and I gave my oldest daughter uh, $24 to put gas in her car. And that is it, guys, okay? So those are all the expenses that I had in this month, okay? So at the bottom, we're just gonna uh, calculate everything and it will be a wrap, okay? So for the... For the shopping category, I am using some markers, which is from the Budget Mom uh, method of highlighting your expenses to see what you actually spent in which category, okay? These categories here are the ones that I actually cashed up for. Um, I have other categories that I do cash for, but these are the ones that I actually spent within my envelopes, okay? So the first one we're gonna use is green for shopping, all right? And I'm using a dark green. I'm gonna look real quick and highlight or mark the green since I don't want to darken 
my paper too much with this actual marker. I'm going to put a circle where it says shopping and I only have one expense for shopping. All right. So for shopping, I have a total of twenty three dollars. Oops, right there at twenty three dollars and ninety cents. And guys, in my miscellaneous and uh, shopping category, I only budgeted twenty dollars. OK, that means I went over three dollars and ninety cents. OK, so that's a negative. I went over what I actually cash stuffed. OK, that's why buffer is important. But I just want to show you I went over. OK, how things look when it when you go over. You got to be honest, right? Every time you budget or cash stuff, it may not end up being the amount you budget for. You may go over. That's life, right? So the next one is kids category. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the kids categories that I have. So I have one, okay, the five below. I have this one here, my daughter field trip. And I have right here my daughter gas, right? Anything for kids, okay? My son didn't need anything this time around. So the money went to my two girls. And I did budget um, $60. So let's see how things are going. So for the kids category, I spent $18.83 for my pumpkin at five below. I also spent $36 for her field trip. And I also gave my oldest daughter $24 for gas. That is a total of $78.83. One I minus that from my actual um, cash envelope, right? And I hope it shows it correctly. Um, I only budgeted $60 in my cash envelope. That means I went over $18.83, okay? Again, I went over in shopping and in kids category, okay? See, when life be life and you have kids, you just never know, right? So the next one is the AMC. That is for family and that one, I'm going to highlight it in yellow. Okay, let me grab my highlighter. And yellow for family. And in my family envelope, I have money in there. And currently right now, I have, I believe, $70 or $75, $70, I believe. So let's calculate everything. When I have $48.11 from us going to the movie theater, and in that family fun sinking fun envelope i have seventy dollars oops you guys okay so seventy dollars and i minus forty eight dollars and eleven cents i have a plus of twenty one dollars and eighty nine cents left in that envelope so i'm doing good in the family fun envelope okay i didn't go over in that category in my eating out Okay, my eating out, I spent the following categories. Pollo Tropical after we came from the movies. Uh, McDonald's when my daughter brought me to work. Okay, and another uh, snacks at the gas station when my daughter took me to go put gas in my car. All right, after my hubby fixed it. So I have three expenses. We're going to add everything up. Okay, so $21.17 cents plus six dollars and forty cents plus sixty oh no sorry guys plus eight dollars i was about to put these two amounts together but i'm not gonna do that we're gonna do it separately so you can see what was spent and i spent 36 dollars in my eating out so let me write that in so for eating out i spent 36 dollars and 14 cents and I only budgeted $20 in my cash envelope for eating out, okay? Because I was trying to cut back on eating out. So that tells me, okay, from $20, I spent $36.14. I went over $16.14 in my eating out. Thank God I had a buffer, right, guys, to cover the difference. The next thing is for groceries, um, I spent... And for groceries, I'm using the color blue. So I'm going to highlight all my grocery categories. Okay. And I only did one eating, let's see, grocery shopping. Okay. 
Um, so that total is $103.87, excuse me. And when I minus... I actually had $200 that I always cashed up bi-weekly for groceries. So when I minus the 103.87, that gives me $96.13 left to still grocery shop if I still need it or have it as a rollover. Okay, guys? So I'm doing good on that category. For gas, I spent 60 always and I budget 60 and I use 60. So there's no money left. So I'm all good there. And then for personal, I had budgeted $20 for personal and I spent zero. So I still have $20 left, okay? So I have left over for the total of what I have left over is 21 plus 29, 96, okay, plus 20, okay. So I have left over $138.02 I have left over, guys, that I will be rolling over in my next pay period budget, okay? My name is Budget with Elma and I hope you enjoy how I show you my budgeted and my actual amounts of my expenses and my regular expenses for my everyday wallet which are my variable expenses. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I truly appreciate you and I will see you on my next video.